Tijuana government reeling, over 100 members of migrant caravan arrested on criminal charges. Are the migrant caravans currently in Mexico harmless and innocent, or are they full of problems and troublemakers? That's the question that many people both in the United States and south of the border are asking after thousands of immigrants began arriving in the border city of Tijuana. Liberal voices, predictably, have insisted that it's the former while yelling racist, anytime somebody suggests otherwise. More and more, however, there is mounting evidence that there are far more delinquents in the caravans than was previously reported, and now even Tijuana residents are starting to question the open borders narrative. On Friday, El Sol de Tijuana reported that 127 migrants have been arrested in Mexico for various offenses, some of them violent. The Mexican newspaper highlighted one of those crimes, which involved a knife attack by a Honduran migrant against another immigrant from Haiti. El Sol also explained that illicit drug use is commonplace among the caravan migrants. The fact, is, that these migrants, who have problems of addictions, who are using drugs on the public highway, become highly vulnerable to recruitment by local delinquency to turn them into drug dealers and possible victims of crime, the paper stated. Original Spanish article. Ironically, government officials in Mexico are starting to come to the same conclusions as the Trump administration, knowing who is a criminal and who is not as vital, yet extremely difficult given the circumstances of these caravans. While the left is busy demanding that U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement be disbanded, Mexican authorities are increasingly relying on their version of ICE to verify the identity of lawbreakers and deport them from Mexico. Marco Antonio Sotomayor Amezcua, a government security official, indicated that the Instituto Nacional de Migration which can be thought of as